Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are on the third part of exact differential equations. In the first part, we defined what are exact differential equations. We tested the differential equation for exactness by using the condition del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. If they were found to be exact, we solved them. In the second part, we studied differential equations which were not exact. We defined integrating factors for such differential equations, multiplied the differential equation by the integrating factor, made it exact and then solved them. Today in part 3, we will use some formulas and find the solution in a much easy way. So let's see what are these formulas. In the first one, what if we are asked to differentiate x, y? You see x, y is a product of two variables x and y. If I differentiate, I'll have to do differentiation by parts. How does that work? Differential of the first, which is dx, into the second part, which is y. So we get y dx plus first part as it is, which is x. Differential of the second, which is dy. So you have d of xy is equal to y dx plus x dy. In the second formula, if we are asked to differentiate x square plus y square, you see it would be 2x dx plus 2y dy. Pull out the two, you get 2 times x dx plus y dy. In the third one, we are differentiating a quotient x by y. We will use the quotient rule for this. Numerator is x, denominator is y. So, differential of the numerator multiplied by the denominator gives me y dx minus numerator into the differential of the denominator which is dy divided by the denominator square which is y square. What if it is d of y by x? You get x dy minus y dx upon x square. Now, what if you are asked to differentiate tan inverse of x by y? If I take x by y to be t, you know differential of tan inverse t will be 1 upon 1 plus t square into dt. So I have differentiated t, simplified, we get y dx minus x dy upon x square plus y square. Now, d of log of x by y in the same way comes out to be y dx minus x dy upon x y. Whenever in our differential equation we get terms like this, I can directly use for y dx plus x dy d of x y. For 2 times x dx plus y dy, I can use d of x square plus y square. And for x dy minus y dx upon x square, I can use d of y by x. For y dx minus x dy upon y square, we can use d of x by y. For y dx minus x dy upon x square plus y square, we can directly write d of tan inverse x by y. And y dx minus x dy upon x y can be written as d log of x by y. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. We will be using many different forms. Let's come to some examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve y dx plus x dy is equal to 0. Here, I have shown the condition of exactness that the differential equation is exact, but until and unless it is asked, you need not show. So, m is y, n is x. You can see del m by del y is 1. Del n by del x is 1. The condition of exactness is satisfied. Now, I am not going to solve this differential equation 1 using the method we did in part 1. I will use the formula directly. What is our formula number 1? It says whenever I have y dx plus x dy, I can write it as dx of y. So, this is what we do. I will write y dx plus x dy as d of x y. Right hand side is 0. Now if you integrate both the sides, you will get x y is equal to c 
because integral and differential they are inverse functions of each other so that is gone you get x y is equal to c in the second example we are given e to the power x dx plus e to the power x cot y plus 2 y cosec y dy is equal to 0 here if i divide all over by cosec y our differential equation becomes e to the power x sin y dx plus e to the power x cos y dy plus 2y dy is equal to 0. Now look at these two terms. I can conveniently write this as d e to the power x sin y is equal to minus 2y dy. Here you see y we divided by cosec y because now this term can be written as d e to the power x sin y. And this term is minus 2y dy. I can easily integrate this. If you ever have a doubt, just differentiate this. Open this up. You will get this term. Integrate both the sides. Solution becomes e to the power x sin y plus y square is equal to c. In the third example, we are asked to solve x dy plus y dx plus 3x cube y to the power 4 dy is equal to 0. Now, this we know, x dy plus y dx can be written as d of xy. But what about this second term? This does not have only y terms or only x terms. If I divide all over by x cube y cube or xy whole cube, I will be left with only y terms here. So, see, xy x dy plus y dx upon xy whole cube plus 3y dy is equal to 0 is what we get when we divide by xy whole cube. Do not worry about this. If I take xy to be t, what will I get? I will then get on differentiating x dy plus y dx is equal to dt. And your this left hand side will become dt by t cube. Integrate, you will get minus 1 by 2 t square. Right hand side had only y terms, so that is nothing but minus 3 by 2 y square plus some constant of integration which is c dash. So this on simplification gives us the solution 3x square y to the power 4 is equal to 1 plus c x square y square. You see here we had multiplied by 1 upon x y whole cube. That is our integrating factor. In the next example, we have y dx plus x minus 2x square y cube dy is equal to 0. Whenever we are given a differential equation, try to collect terms of y dx, x dy or x dx, y dy together. So that is what I did here. I collected y dx plus x dy, kept it together. Second term is minus 2x square y cube dy is equal to 0. Now this does not have either x terms alone or y terms alone. What if I divide by x square y square? I can get rid of x square terms. So we get y dx plus x dy upon x square y square or x y whole square minus 2y dy is equal to 0. We'll do the same thing as we did in example 3. Write the numerator as d of xy using the first formula upon xy whole square is equal to 2y dy. This will give me on integration minus 1 upon xy is equal to y square plus c. Here again I have taken xy to be t and then we have integrated dt by t square. Your solution becomes 1 plus xy cube is equal to c of xy. As we have multiplied by 1 upon xy whole square, that is the integration, integrating factor. Come to the fifth example. Here we are given y square plus xy plus 1 dx plus x square plus xy plus 1 dy is equal to 0. Rearrange the terms. Now again, I have collected dx and dy together. 
Then I have taken the terms y square plus yx dx as one term and x square plus xy dy as another term equal to zero. If I divide by x plus y all over, I am left with y dx plus x dy and this term gives us dx plus dy upon x plus y. Now this suits me because this I can just write as d of x plus y upon x plus y and this is d of x y is equal to 0. Integrate both the sides you will get log of x plus y. We have taken x plus y as t. So you get dt upon t which is, gives us log of t plus x y is equal to c. Take the exponential you can have the other form of solution as x plus y e to the power x y is equal to c. As you multiply it by 1 upon x plus y, that's the integrating factor. In question number 6, you are given the differential equation x dy minus y dx is equal to 1 plus y square dy. Now, whenever we have a plus sign with the terms x dy, y dx, it's always easy to write it as d of x, y. But when we have a minus sign, I should either have x square in the denominator or y square in the denominator and that helps us. Dividing by x square does not help because on the right hand side then I'll have both the terms of x and y. So I'll divide both the sides by y square we will get x dy minus y dx upon y square is equal to 1 plus 1 by y square. Pull out the minus from the left hand side. Take it on the right hand side. Then your left hand side will be d of x by y equal to minus 1 plus 1 by y square dy. Integrate on simplifying, we'll get the solution as x plus y square minus 1 is equal to cy. In the seventh question, we are given y dx minus x dy is equal to x y cube dy. Now, if I divide both the sides by x y, see what will we get? I'll get rid of x terms on the right hand side. Here I'll get x upon dx upon x minus dy upon y. No y terms in this, no x terms here and no x terms on the right hand side. Integrate it. Integration becomes much simpler. This is log x minus log y is equal to y cube upon 3 plus c. Simplify. You can also write it as log of x by y is equal to y cube upon 3 plus c. In question number 8, we are given x dy is equal to x to the power 5 plus x cube y square plus y dx. Now, as I said earlier, we collect terms x dy and y dx. Keep them together. And then what are we left with? We are left with x cube into x square plus y square dx. If I divide by x square plus y square, we will get, and I pull out the minus sign, minus y dx minus x dx dy upon x square plus y square is equal to x cube. I have only x terms on the right hand side. And on the left, this is nothing but d of tan inverse x by y. You've already seen the formula in the beginning. The minus I've taken on the right hand side, it is minus x cube dx. Integrate both the sides. You will get tan inverse x by y is minus x4 by 4 plus c. In the ninth example, we are given y plus x dy is equal to y minus x dx. Open the brackets, rearrange the terms, we get y dy plus x dx upon x square plus y square is equal to y dx minus x dy upon x square plus y square after dividing by x square plus y square. Now I multiply both the numerator and denominator on the left hand side by 2. So we get 2y dy plus 2x dx. 
and denominators 2 times x square plus y square. Why we did that was because when we have y dy plus x dx, we, it does not help us. But by writing it as 2y dy plus 2x dx, I can always write it as d of x square plus y square. The right hand side was y dx minus x dy upon x square plus y square. Now left hand side is nothing but d half of log of x square plus y square. And right hand side from the formula we have seen is d tan inverse x by y. Integrate both the sides, you will get half log of x square plus y square is equal to tan inverse x by y plus c. You can also write it as log of root of x square plus y square in the left hand side. In the tenth example, we have x dy is equal to y plus x square plus 9y square dx. Now again, I will bring the term y dx on the left. So, then we will divide by x square plus 9y square. We will get x dy minus y dx upon x square plus 9y square is equal to dx. You can see if I pull out the x square, then I will get 1 plus 9y square by x square and I can always integrate we will get 1 by 3 tan inverse of 3y by x. Right hand side will give me x plus c dash. Bring the 3 on the right hand side. You can always write it as tan inverse 3y by x is equal to 3x plus c. In question number 11, we are given y square minus y dx plus x dy is equal to 0. So, again we are going to collect y dx and x dy terms together and we will then divide by y square so we will get y dx minus x dy upon y square is equal to dx this we did to get only x terms on the dx on the right hand side this is nothing but d of x by y this is dx integrate you get x by y is equal to x plus c simplify you can also write it as y is equal to x by x plus c. In the twelfth question, we have x dy plus y dx is equal to root of x by dy. We'll again rearrange the terms. We'll bring root of x by down. And we'll multiply both the sides by half. You see why we do that? Because now I can write it as d of root of x y is equal to half of dy. If you have a doubt, Take xy to be t, you have d of t to the power half, which will give me half 1 upon root t into dt. And we get by replacing xy by t, we get our half y dx plus x dy upon root of xy. So now integrate, you get root of xy is equal to y by 2 plus c dash, or you can simplify. The solution will be 2 root of xy is equal to y plus c. In the 13th question, we are asked to solve dy plus y by x dx is equal to sin x dx. Now here, we'll just rearrange the terms. We'll multiply by x, we'll get x dy plus y dx is equal to x sin x dx. This is nothing but d of xy. This has only x terms on the right hand side. x sin x dx. Integrate both the sides. This will give us xy. Here we do integration by parts. The solution comes out to be xy plus x cos x is equal to sin x plus 3. A c. In the last example, we are asked to solve x dy minus y dx is equal to x square y to the power 4, x dy plus y dx. We'll rearrange the terms and divide by y square. See here I already have x dy minus y dx. I'll pull out the minus and divide by y square. We'll get minus y dx minus x dy by y square. Right hand side gives me x square y square and this we can write as d of x square. Now this might make us, you know, 
a little worried. How do we integrate this? But you don't have to get unnerved. Just write it as x square y square d of x y. And left hand side is nothing minus d x y y. But the right hand side is x square y square d of x y. Take x square x y to be t. Which will be t square dt. So this gives us minus dx by y is equal to t square dt. Integrate both the sides, you'll get minus x by y is equal to t cube by 3. t we had taken to be x y. So we get x cube y cube by 3 plus c, which on simplifying gives us x cube y to the power 4 plus 3x plus c y is equal to 0. Thank you for watching. I have again taken a lot of examples from George F. Simon, second edition. For other courses, you can check my website www.profpreetivbajpay.com.